Hey guys, welcome back. My name is Katie and today I am giving you the bookshelf tour. So a little disclaimer before I get going with the bookshelf tour. Some of my books are still at home if you guys have been following me for a while. Part of my books are at my parents' house, part of my books are here. So if you see like the first book in a series or just like the second book in a series, chances are I have the whole series but it's just not all complete with me right now. So hopefully once I get all of those books I will do an updated bookshelf tour. Since I got new shelves I just wanted to show them off a little bit, let's be honest. Let's just get into it. So sorry about this angle. My top shelves, my tripod doesn't exactly reach all the way to the top so it's going to be a little tilted as of right now but hopefully you can still see the books. So we are going to start with this section right over here which is mostly contemporary, young adult contemporary with a few new adults thrown in. Trouble is a Friend of Mine by Stephanie Trombley. Eleanor and Park by Rainbow Rowell. Fangirl by Rainbow Rowell. Carry On by Rainbow Rowell. The To All the Boys duology by Jenny Han consisting of the first book To All the Boys I've Loved Before and the second book P.S. I Still Love You. The Distance From Me to You by Marina Gessner. Amy and Roger's Epic Detour by Morgan Matson, Second Chance Summer by Morgan Matson, Ugly Love by Colleen Hoover, and November 9 by Colleen Hoover. And the second part of this shelf is Middle Grade, starting out with the Percy Jackson series by Rick Riordan, consisting of The Lightning Thief, The Sea of Monsters, The Titan's Curse, The Battle of the Labyrinth, and The Last Olympian. Then I have The Search for Wandala by Tony D. Lizzie, The Giver by Lois Lauer, the Hobbit or There and Back Again by J.R.R. Tolkien. Yes, this is technically a kid's book. Brown Girl Dreaming by Jacqueline Woodson. And Rules for Stealing Stars by Corey Ann Haidu. And the next shelf down, I just have my science fiction and one dystopian series on here. So in the corner here, I have my Funko Pop character of Finn from Star Wars. He hangs out with all my Star Wars books. I have Star Wars Aftermath by Chuck Wendig. This is part of the Journey to Star Wars The Force Awakens series. Two illustrated Star Wars novellas, both by Greg Rucka. The first is Star Wars Smuggler's Run, a Han Solo and Chewbacca adventure, and the second is Star Wars Before the Awakening. And to complete my Star Wars collection, I have Star Wars Lost Stars by Claudia Gray. Then I have Cinder, the first book in the Lunar Chronicles by Marissa Meyer, Pathfinder by Orson Scott Card, Illumine by Amy Kaufman and Jay Kristoff, The Martian by Andy Weir. I got this little candle reading at the cafe which I got in my December Owl Crate and it smells like chocolate. It smells like chocolate and coffee and it's amazing and that just sits right here. And I also have this little typography card that I framed that says All Good Things Are Wild and Free by Henry David Thoreau. And finally I have the Hunger Games trilogy by Suzanne Collins consisting of The Hunger Games, Catching Fire, and Mockingjay. This shelf consists of my adult mystery novels and starting on the left, it is my Tana French books consisting of The Secret Place, Broken Harbor, and Faithful Place. Actually behind here, I have The Likeness by Tana French. I really am trying to collect all of the hardbacks of her books, so the likeness just kind of sits right behind her series here. Then I have Night Film by Marisha Pessel, The Cuckoo's Calling by Robert Galbraith, also known as J.K. Rowling, Grey Mountain by John Grisham, Reconstructing Amelia by Kimberly McCrae, Veronica Mars The Thousand Dollar Tan Line, and Veronica Mars Mr. Kiss and Tell. These are two novelizations in the Veronica Mars multimedia franchise. Natchez Burning by Greg Isles. Casino Royale by Ian Fleming. This is the first book in the 007 James Bond series. And finally on this shelf I have my little Funko Pop of Rick Grimes who is my 
possibly my favorite fictional character in the world. This shelf is kind of my mismatched shelf. It's adult fiction as well as some historical fiction, starting on the left with The Roundhouse by Louise Erdrich, Flight Behavior by Barbara Kingsolver, The Mountain Story by Lori Lanson, To Kill a Mockingbird, and Go Set a Watchman, both by Harper Lee, and these are Companions, On the Road by Jack Kerouac, The Kitchen House by Kathleen Grissom, Cat's Cradle by Kurt Vonnegut, A Great and Terrible Beauty by Libba Bray, The Diviners by Libba Bray, Rook by Sharon Cameron, Da Vinci's Tiger by L. M. Elliot, The Book Thief by Marcus Zusak, I Am the Messenger by Marcus Zusak. There's a space here because this is where Grave Mercy is usually goes, but I'm reading that right now and I can't find where it is. And I don't feel like going to look for it. Worlds of Ink and Shadow by Lena Coakley and Dune by Carrie Corp and Lori Langdon. Okay, now we are at the bottom shelf of my first shelf. This is also a mixture of graphic novels as well as some randos thrown in here. And I also have a lot of extra shelf space over here, so I won't be showing you that. The first three bind-ups of the East of West graphic novel series by Hickman, Dragoda, and and Martin. This is one, this is two, this is three. The first two bind-ups of the Saga series by Brian K. Vaughn and Fiona Staples. This is one and this is two. Compendiums one and three in the Walking Dead series comic book graphic novel bind-ups. Steelheart by Brandon Sanderson. We All Looked Up by Tommy Wallach. The Archived by Victoria Schwab. Shadow of the Wolf by Tim Hall. The Fear and the Sacrifice books three and four in the Enemy series by Charlie Hickson. The next shelf at the top is my mostly adult fantasy shelf. So we are going to start on this side. Twelve Kings in Sherakai by Bradley P. Beaulieu. The Queen of the Tearling by Erica Johansson. A Knight of the Seven Kingdoms by George R. R. Martin. This is a companion to the Song of Ice and Fire series. And then I have part of my Song of Ice and Fire series by George R. R. Martin, starting with A Dance with Dragons. Then I have my little Funko Pop Rob Stark. This is a volcanic rock that I got when I was hiking Mount Doom in New Zealand. And then I have two of my mass market paperback collection of the Song of Ice and Fire series, A Clash of Kings and A Storm of Swords. And to wrap up this section, I have Furies of Calderon, Book one of the Codex Alera by Jim Butcher. I have the Mistborn Trilogy by Brandon Sanderson, consisting of The Final Empire, The Well of Ascension, and Hero of Ages. Then I have A Darker Shade of Magic by V.E. Schwab, The Name of the Wind by Patrick Rothfuss, and The Night Circus by Aaron Morgenstern. This shelf right here is mostly young adult fantasy, and I actually believe it's all young adult fantasy for with the exception of one, and it just goes from paperback to hardcover. Starting with the paperback books, I have The Assassin's Curse Duology by Cassandra Rose Clark, consisting of The Assassin's Curse and The Pirate's Wish. I have Stolen Songbird by Danielle L. Jensen. The Demon King, the first book in the Seven Realms series by Cinda Williams Chima. Then I have the first three books in the Throne of Glass series by Sarah J. Math, Throne of Glass, Crown of Midnight, and Air of Fire. I also have the bind up of the novellas in the Throne of Glass series called The Assassin's Blade by Sarah J. Mass. Then I have The Young Elites by Marie Lu. Moving on to the hard covers, I have Shadow and Bone by Lee Bardugo. The first two books in the Winner's Trilogy by Marie Rukowski. The first being The Winner's Curse, followed by The Winner's Crime. The Kiss of Deception by Mary E. Pearson. Soundless by Rochelle Mead. The Girl of Fire and Thorns by Ray Carson. The Wrath and the Dawn by Renee Adier, Fire by Kristen Cashor, Bitter Blue by Kristen Cashor, which is a companion to Fire, and these are both components of the Graceling series. This shelf is more young adult fantasy, it's just tends to be the taller one. I have The Inheritance Cycle by Christopher Paolini, consisting of Aragon, Eldest, Brissinger, and Inheritance. 
I have Six of Crows by Lee Bardugo, A Court of Thorns and Roses by Sarah J. Mass, An Ember in the Ashes by Sabah Tahir, one of my favorite reads of 2015, Finnegan of the Rock and Froy of the Exiles, the first two books in the Lumature Chronicles by Melina Marchetta, Falling Kingdoms, Rebel Spring and Gathering Darkness, the first three books in the Fallen Kingdom series by Morgan Rhodes, Days of Blood and Starlight and Dreams of Gods and Monsters by Lainey Taylor, the last two books in the Daughter of Smoke and Bone trilogy. This next shelf here is mostly urban fantasy with the majority of it being young adult with one adult series on on this shelf. Starting on the left we have The Raven Boys by Maggie Stiefvater, Lux Beginnings, the first two books in the Lux series by Jennifer L. Armentrout. The Vampire Academy series by Rochelle Mead consisting of Vampire Academy, Frostbite, Shadow Kiss, Blood Promise, Spirit Bound, and The Last Sacrifice. Then I have Bloodlines which is the first book in the spin-off series to the Vampire Academy series by Rochelle Mead. Books two and three of the Mortal Instruments series by Cassandra Clare, City of Ashes, and City of Glass. The Infernal Devices trilogy by Cassandra Clare, Clockwork Angel, Clockwork Prince, and Clockwork Princess. I have the first two books in the Bone Season series by Samantha Shannon, The Bone Season, and The Mime Order. And then over here I just have my Harry Potter series with the Sorcerer's Stone illustrated guide on the left, the original series in the middle, and then I have the Twilight 10th Anniversary Edition and Life and Death over on the right, and then I have some random art supplies there. And my little Funko Pop of Harry that I got in my January Owl Crate, which I love. He's so cute. So that was my bookshelf tour. I hope you guys enjoyed it, and I will see you guys soon with another video. Goodbye!